right? That's correct. Yes. We're doing a gluten-free and vegetarian stir fry. So for those of um, my friends out there that are vegetarian, instead of chicken, yes. instead of protein, use some portobello mushroom. It gives you that meaty texture, and it's a great sponge. It absorbs all the flavors of yeah, a stir fry. I love That's portobello. the beauty of it. Okay. We're going to add the portobello mushrooms that are raw right here, uh -huh. and some that are already cooked. Why? We have two different textures and two different water contents. Okay. Immediately. The mush, uh, onions that I started cooking in this same pan for maybe two minutes before. Mm -hmm. Drizzle of extra virgin olive oil now so the ingredients start warming up and they do then not burn your you olive oil. Put the olive exactly. Oil on. Okay. A quick toss. Remember, everybody, stir fry and sauteing is basically the same thing. Stir frying is Chinese uh -huh. culture, saute comes from the verb. A sauté in French, which okay. means jumping. Okay. That's why you're always moving your and ingredients it and it's jumping in at okay. a very high temperature. Okay. Zucchini. Mm -hmm. Okay, a few zucchini in there now. And why? It also because has a water content, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Zucchini has high water content and is also a great sponge. Some red bell peppers. Okay. If you have green bell peppers, use it yes, as you wish. A little bit of fresh basil. Okay. Now, I got some fresh squeezed orange juice here. Okay. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. Hmm. A little bit of glute GMO free and organic soy sauce. Make sure those are in there. Okay. And some marsala wine. Why am I doing it in here? Because I'm going to use this cold liquid to stir a little bit of cornstarch. Mm. If you put your cornstarch in there, it's going to clump up on you and going to get all bump, uh, lumpy. Yeah. So we stir this in. And you didn't use a lot of cornstarch. Absolutely Just not. Just a little bit. Correct. The, yeah. the heat, that's a good question. The heat of the pan is going to reduce the sauce anyway. Okay. So why do we need a lot of it for? Yeah. It's going to go in there. Mm. And now you have these beautiful flavors that are all coming together. As this is doing its thing, I'm mm -hmm. going to serve you a little bit of Door County cherry and pistachio rice peel off oh, right here. Nice. Okay. And I didn't know that all rice is gluten free. Absolutely, you're correct. All rice is gluten free. So make that switch instead of using pasta. Exactly. Do the rice. Exactly. Sometimes instant rice, everybody, is not gluten free because they have the gluten byproduct to, as a thickening okay. agent and as a starch. So and real look rice. at this. Look at this beauty right that there. That is nice. Oh, now, yeah, it's sticking in Can that. you do me a favor, Kim? Okay, yeah, sure. Can you okay. taste the sauce for me and tell me if this salt level is good? Mmm, perfect. Okay, give me a pat in the back. Oh, I'm like, what Thank am I doing? Thank you! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna go in mm. one end portion of the rice. Why? We want the eye to pick up both of those textures and flavors. And we have this beautiful focus here. That is good. So again, something you can make tonight at home. And what are you making tomorrow morning? Tomorrow, what we're doing is one of my main ingredients or dishes that we're going to do at the new Il Mito. Okay. We're going to go fishing. Fishing. We're going to do yeah. We're going okay. to do a nice, beautiful seafood. And maybe maybe I, hey, what about if I do a brick chicken? I do a brick chicken Why for not? you. That's it. Brick chicken. What's a brick That's chicken? It. Brick chicken. That's the chicken is cooked under the brick. So the heat, the weight of the brick pushes the chicken, makes the skin crispy, and cooks it all Did the way through that? in 10 minutes. Wow. Did no. you know that? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Because I was like, is, Look what, forward is to it that. a type of chicken? Yeah, it is. It's no, it's I a mean... brick chicken. It's cooked with brick. We can use limestone. We can call it limestone chicken. Okay. No. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'll take your word so for we'll it. So we'll have all that coming up tomorrow. We have all this today and all of that. Real Milwaukee set, just all contained, all of that. All right. I was going to say, brick chicken, at first I was like, is that how stiff it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sound I know tough. people that cook like that. That yeah. doesn't sound very good. No. <laughs>